My Dear Prince is a pleasant little bit of Yuri from Ebi Hime. It's not like their usual stuff though. Rather than being a doomy tale of horror and misery set in Victorian Britain, this is a light-hearted rom-com set in an island resort in Japan with a theme park and a huge horde of rabbits. What is the collective noun for rabbits? Hang on. Apparently there's a lot of them. A lot of collective nouns for rabbits, I mean, not a lot of rabbits. Although there are also a lot of rabbits. Where was I? Oh yes, Rabbit Island. This is based on a genuine rabbit island which has a huge number of rabbits that mob tourists demanding food. I've never been there but it sounds like fun. It's also been used to make chemical weapons so it's an excellent destination for anyone with a joint interest in rabbits and war crimes. I'll leave a link to the Wikipedia page below if anyone's interested. Anyway, my dear Prince, our protagonist is Momoka, a perfectly ordinary Japanese girl with terrifyingly large eyes, no nose and pink hair. Her sister also has pink hair. Their father has brown hair, so they must take after their mother, who is mentioned a lot but never appears. Come to think of it, I don't think anyone on this island has black hair like real Japanese people. I want to visit them more than ever now. Momoka works at the local cafe with her friends Yugi, the cute one, and Saya, the snobby one, who fill out the story with a couple of B-plots. So, they're having a visitor stay with them, a girl from Tokyo named Aoi. Aoi means blue in Japanese, apparently, and she always wears blue. I wonder if she's related to this guy from Violence Fight. Well, it's love at first sight for Momoka, and she has two weeks to win the heart of her crush. Will she manage it? Well, I'm not going to spoil the ending. This is not what I expected from Ebihime, but it's very good. It lasts about five or six hours. The characters are engaging, the balance between comedy and romance is just right, and the art is glorious. It's well worth a go. The only criticism I could make is that there weren't enough rabbits. For a story set on an island famous for its rabbits, I expected more rabbits. Mm.